One of the worst parts of this war is watching the kids react. If they're lucky, they grow up thinking the galaxy is basically a decent place. There's some rough spots here and there, but for the most part, life makes sense. Now they find out it was all a lie. They wake up to see these things in the dark that just want to destroy everyone they ever cared about. If they survive, there'll be a lot of angry orphans out there looking for answers. Hmm, life just wouldn't have been complete if I didn't see Jack one more time. It's nice to see she's downgraded from dangerous lunatic to mildly insane. You have to admit, though, she did see through Cerberus back in the day. I might have even listened, but her tattoos gave me a headache every time she walked into the room. Looks like we beat Cerberus again. Do you think the elusive man fires lieutenants over failures like this will just light them up against the wall and get it over with? I wish they had had a Grissom Academy for trains when I was growing up. I always wanted to learn how to paint. Now I mostly paint walls with Reaper blood. Not the same, but it's a living. Have you seen our newest crew member? You mean the biggest story in 50,000 years that I can in no way talk about? So yeah, I've seen him. Just wondering. You know, in the old days, they didn't have automatic cameras. Reporters had to kick on the makeup. Do we need to talk, Commander? Not right now, Alice. Let me know when we do. So, Gabby, have you seen Edie's new body? Oh, I need anything, Commander? How's Engineer Donnelly working out? The kid's got talent. Now if he could just learn to shut his damn mouth. Problems? I'm sorry, Commander. Donnelly is dedicated, knowledgeable, and thinks on his feet. I'm glad to have him on my team. Could use a lesson or two about respecting chain of command, but I've handled the likes of him before. No need for concern. How's Engineer Daniels working out? Her, I like. She's sharp and knows propulsion theory better than most physicists I've met. And she's easy to work with, too. Always said you had an eye for talent. Good job bringing her back to the Alliance. Is your family okay? My parents are serving on Viridian Zenith, an Alliance agricultural vessel. My sister is a navigator on the SSV Benjamin Davis. Happy to report that both vessels are safely under Hackett's command. Does the new Normandy stack up to the old SR-1? <laughs> stack up? It blows the old ship away. The Tantalus drive core has been completely overhauled. The SR-2 might be nearly twice the size, but the new drive core is three times bigger. This ship can fly. That said, Cerberus isn't too high on safety. If pushed past her limits, this core would vent into engineering. Guess it gives my team incentive to keep her well-balanced during a firefight. <laughs> Do your job or get vaporized. Pretty much. I noticed you upgraded the kinetic barriers with cyclonic technology. Should help reduce the draw when under missile fire. Hopefully that means fewer vaporized engineers. The IES stealth system is significantly improved. It can handle a higher blue shift of our emissions. And that means? We should be able to drop out of FTL without triggering every sensor in range. Very handy for stealth reconnaissance. All in all, the Normandy is a marvel of engineering. What do you think of Edie? We had a good talk during the retrofit. A little strange at first, talking shop with an AI. AI? I thought Edie posed as a VI to keep the likes of you from unplugging her. Yeah, but I saw through her. Have you seen her hardware? Processing power is off the charts. And then there were the problems that kept fixing themselves. If I hadn't had her pegged, I would have sworn I was losing it. You never expressed any skepticism, Lieutenant Adams. I figured I'd better play it safe with the Cerberus AI, Edie. No offense. None taken. As long as you keep your fingers out of my cognizance processors. <laughs> In the beginning, I tried disconnecting her from key processes without giving myself away. Easier said than done. But Joker seemed to trust her. And in time, I saw her advantages. Even grew to like her. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's great to be back. Feels good to be in Alliance uniform again. Welcome aboard, Chief. Nothing to report. Commander. Anything interesting? One of your crew deleted this space. There are traces of anger. That was Jack. Anger was her specialty. Traces of her pain are still present. I'm told she sought revenge against Cerberus when she was here. A goal you helped fulfill. I hope you will do the same for me. At least I have better quarters. During our fight against the Reapers, we had no time for teaching the young anything but war. Only the foolish mourn the loss of innocence. It is inevitable. The galaxy has never rewarded the naive. Commander.
something. Reapers eluded. Faster than light jump successful. Evasion successful. What exactly is on this asteroid? Mining facility. TGS Mineral Works. Small operation. Could be a good place for Leviathan to hide. We've all read Edie's notes on Bryson's lab. Any questions? Do we have any more information on what Leviathan could be? Not really. We only know it killed a Reaper. But Garneau's our target here, right? Bryson's research partner. Right. If we find Garneau, we find Leviathan. Tranquilo. The doctor was right. Anything powerful enough to kill a Reaper needs to be investigated. Just hope Garneau has the answers we need. I'm reading Reaper enemy signatures in the asteroid field. Bryson said they were shadowing his field teams. If they're after Leviathan too, Reapers are a good sign. That's not something you hear every day. Take us in.
Don't go anywhere, Cortez. We'll grab this guy and be right out. Keep me updated on the Reaper situation. Just a minute. Scouting party. That sounds larger than the term scouting party would suggest. Arrive. The people in this facility will be scared. Welcome to TGS Mineral Works. All guests need to sign in at reception. What's with this business as usual? Commander Shepard of the Alliance, you just had Reaper troops attacking your front door. Are they still there? I've taken care of them for now. I see. That will be all. That will be. Hello? Yes. Welcome to TGS Mineral Works. How can we help you? Yes, for the tour. Please sign in. You don't seem worried about those Reapers. You know something I don't? TGS Mineral Works is a small to mid-level supplier of tungsten to the galaxy. That's not what I meant. Are you familiar with the applications of tungsten? I'm looking for a researcher named Dr. Garneau. It would have arrived within the last couple weeks. If he's still here, I need to speak to him. We have no Dr. Garneau. Do you need to see a doctor? How about I just go in and look around? No. The access elevator is broken. And now, we're done. Step away. Step away. You don't belong here. Something ain't right here, Commander. Let's look around. Carefully. You can't be in here. I don't call security. was here in the last week. Why would they lie about that? No idea. Let's hope we don't have to look too far. None of this makes sense. 
sent to the workers at a mining station. Have you seen Dr. Garnell? You shouldn't be here. Evolutionary implications of human biotics. What? Turn back. You shouldn't be here. You must make sense. It's a very interesting thing. What kind of thing might have already? Interesting. We should look into that. Punch in Garno's terminal hack and see what it gets us. Access granted. Ship dropped him off a week ago. It appears he had full access at one point before going into hiding. involved in an altercation in the mines. Garneau was heading to the mines. Hmm. Looks like he was taken to the med bay. You are in the mineral lab. A low security, all access area. The med bay is restricted to authorized personnel with active patient file numbers. I have the file number. Let's go get Garneau. File 7364. 